I obviously with my Know Your Value platform feel really strongly about these comments and they made my blood boil. I was shaking when I heard them. Elise Jordan, Walter Isaacson next to me, he all, they both were shaken. Willie, Joe and I are going to do a really kind of major debrief on the entire thing on the Know Your Value website because it goes down to value. Here he is undermining a woman's credibility because he says look at her yeah. and laughs derisively what a pig and then talks about looking at donald trump's wives what a pig and this is a guy who ran pageants donald trump for his living okay so we're not even a guy who went into the in back room during teen pageants so he could watch those girls disrobe i'm not a fan of pageants but i'm not going to judge someone doing pageants for a living and you know that's uh, the miss america pageant is making great progress right. uh, so there's a lot to talk about there but my point is beyond the hypocrisy this is a really bad day for women if this is exactly the person the president wants speaking for him telling people to look at someone and then laughing derisively and it's a woman talking about she's not credible because look at her and then and then and then comparing her to the president's wives this is not the america that you and i have been trying to pave the way for women for we have a long way to go for women knowing their value the president and his attorney have taken us back like decades it's a bad day for humanity Imagine if you and I, imagine if the right. three of us sat here and said, look at those crazy old men. Right. Look at those crazy old cigar smoking, wacky men spouting their mouths, spouting lies. I mean, they would say that we're inappropriate. Right. We're ageist. Right. How is it in 2018, Rudy Giuliani can say this and you don't have an immediate apology from the White House? How doesn't Ivanka Trump stand up and say, I'm making my way back to New York? This is too shameful. Well, look, and remember, let's not forget Rudy Giuliani, a man spouting absurdities about how he, the type of women he values and doesn't value, which is so offensive, and Mika has said it so correctly. He's a man who divorced his wife on television. She found out, Donna Hanover, that she was getting divorced when he announced it at a press conference. What kind of family values are those? He's the least qualified to talk about who is a person or a parent of value. And, you know, as it goes for Ivanka, I mean, she, you know, really made representations that she was going to be a champion of women, a champion of the LGBTQ community. She has been nothing but a hypocrite and a coward. She cowers in the White House and doesn't say anything when issues come up that clearly clearly deserve her response and her voice. What I, I wonder, Donald Trump appeared in a soft core pornography movie himself called Centerfolds, I want to say in the early 2000s. So, Michael, it's sort of stunning that suddenly Rudy Giuliani has found some sort of, I'm not even going to say religion, some sort of faux highbrow family values nonsense. Donald Trump has had over a dozen women who have posed in Playboy, and I'm not judging it, on The Apprentice. He met Stormy Daniels at a Trump golf event. He didn't think she was too low end for him then. So what do you do? Do you try to uh, file a defamation suit against Mr. Giuliani? Well, we haven't decided what we're going to do, uh, Stephanie, but I couldn't agree with your comments more. You know, it's, it's the hypocrisy of this president as it relates to uh, women. Uh, and to, now, it, it's really astounding to have Mr. Giuliani criticize my client for how she looks and what she has done for a living and basically tie that to her uh, credibility and claim that she's not doing any respect uh, is ridiculous, especially when you look at, and I want to be really clear with what I'm about to say, you know, the First Lady of the United States, when she came to the United States, she engaged in modeling. Some of those pictures show her scantily clad. You know, they're beautiful photographs, by the way. No one judges her based on those pictures. No one judges her based on how she looks relating to her credibility or respect. If anyone were to do that, uh, the White House would be clamoring, they would be demanding an absolute apology and that there be repercussions for that, and rightfully so. We're demanding the same. Giuliani should be fired immediately, not next hour, not tomorrow, not next week, right now. This cannot be permitted to stand. And then the last thing I'm going to say is Mr. Giuliani wants to talk about daughters. Well, let me tell you something. I have 
two young, amazing daughters. And regardless of what profession they may pick, and regardless of what they look like ultimately, if anyone were to ever make these remarks about them as women, I'd absolutely knock them out. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.